Now, as you probably know, the story of the Greeks' continuity does not have, well, continuity. <laughs> By the time that the song Ohio had a rest course through the pop charts, the group had, well, in effect, broken up. The stress of trying to balance such diverse and dominant personalities had taken its toll on the group dynamics within the band, and each member decided to go his own way. Now, comment on the breakup, Nash said, quote, we wanted to let people know that we weren't a band in the traditional sense, that we were individuals who would come together in a group dynamic and with whomever we felt like. In a way, the group's entire premise was based on our first and fourth principles. The inherent worth and dignity of every person can be free and responsible search for truth and meaning, whether that be accomplished together or separately. And they have kept that idea to this day, with each of the four of them going on with solo careers, and, as they wish, formations of various combinations, including Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Crosby and Nash, The Stills' Young Band, Crazy Horse, Manassas, as well as several reunions of the whole thing, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Although Nash has always hated that word reunion, he says, quote, I never felt we were totally apart. I always felt that eventually we would grow up and realize what was happening. We were always musically connected. But it was this 40 years of mostly disconnected connection that has allowed a group of individuals to be true to themselves and to the others as best as they can. They have been there for each other in one way or another, through each other's pain and joy, from failed relationships to drug abuse, to health emergencies, to prison. And their music, whether alone or together, in one of their many incarnations, takes on the effects of everything that they haven't seen and experienced and turned it back to us. They have been the masters of taking the first hands experience and turning it into concepts for the world at large. As I listen to them, I can't help but feel the you spirit of life because so much of what they have done speaks directly to our own principles. Okay, there are some exceptions. I mean, they did have to make a living and there was a certain amount of, you know, pop music fluff, so to speak. I mean, it's hard to call lyrics such as, our house is a very, very, very <laughs> fine house with two cats in the yard, or one of my favorites, if you can't be with the one you love, honey, love the one you're with. <laughs> Doesn't quite make you principal material, I don't think. <laughs> but for every cinnamon girl, you had powerful songs that will at least made you stop and reevaluate your own thoughts and processes and ideals because they may have just caused an earthquake in your own soul. Now, consider for a few minutes following song lyrics written as early as 1968 and as recent as 2006. And see how they tie into some or one or several of our principles. Or in certain cases, point out that the principles are not being observed. Example, for the inherent worth and dignity of every person, you have lyrics such as, the ones you never notice are the ones you have to watch. If you can get close enough to look into her eyes, there's something special right between the bitterness she hides. Let me in, immigration ma'am. I can cross the line and pray. I can stay another day. Try this one. For justice, equity, and compassion in human relations. And there's so much time to make up everywhere you turn. Time we have wasted on the way. They want it all, and they want it now. They want to get it, and they don't care how. Acceptance of one another, or lack thereof. Southern man, better keep your head. Don't forget what your good book says. Southern change never come at last. Now your crosses are burning fast. The free and responsible search for truth and meaning. Open up the gates of the church and let me out of here. Too many people have lied in the name of Christ for anyone to heed the call. So many people have lied or have died in the name of Christ that I can't believe it all. Respect for the interdependent web of all existence. It's not that we don't know, it's just that we don't want to care. By the way, that lyric comes from a song called To the Last Whale, which uses the whale slaughter as a metaphor for the senseless killing of any animal for the commercial purposes of producing unnecessary products to make human lives more comfortable. Now, probably the largest percentage of the songs were anti-war songs that speak directly to the fifth and sixth principles, the right of conscience and the use of the democratic process and the goal of world community with peace, liberty, and justice for all. You get a lot of songs with lyrics such as, Military madness is killing my country. 
I can see by your cloak, my friend, you're from the other side. There's just thing I, one thing I want to know. Can you tell me, please, who won? Blinded by honor, they fought eye to eye. Now men with faces rain fire from the sky. When you kill from a distance, is anyone to blame? Well, I can't say we won the war, but I can say we survived. Unlike some of your best friends who died by your side. Find the cost of freedom buried in the ground. Mother Earth will swallow you, lay your body down. Which of those were written during the dawning of the age of Aquarius, and which were written during the George W. Bush administration, can you tell? If you don't know, you can't tell. The elements of our principles are all there if you're able to listen. Sometimes in beautiful poetry, sometimes blunt and in your face. They never asked if you wanted, if you could read. They asked you to listen. Nothing was held back. Nothing was too sacred or taboo for them to touch, not even themselves. This was most evidence back in the early 80s when Nash wrote an autobiographical song about the group, or about how much the group could have been if they had only been able to get over their own egos long enough to stay together for the long haul. In typical Nash fashion, even the song title has a double meaning. And though written about himself and the bandmates, the song can be applied to people in the rest of the world once again if they're willing to listen. Don't waste it on the way.